following question reads that uh, compound x has molecular formula c4h8 and it undergoes the following reactions so uh, c4h8 the first thing that you need to know is that c4h8 uh, it fits uh, the general formula of an alkenes alkenes have a general formula of uh, if i take c4h8 uh, the general formula for alkenes is cnh2n so the the molecular formula of uh, this particular hydrocarbon is similar to an alkene it's n and uh, h would be 2n it's 1 ratio 2 over here it's also 1 ratio 2 so that means there's going to be a carbon uh, carbon double bond carbon it must be an unsaturated hydrocarbon containing carbon double bond carbons so if you look at x over here uh, the first reaction is bromination uh, bromine gets added to the double bond uh, an example could be uh, i can take the example of ethene i know that there is a double bond so let's take the example of ethene just to show what bromination is uh, you're going to react it with br2 that's the first reaction that we are studying the conversion from x to y uh, now what happens in this reaction is that the double bond gets converted into a single bond so single bond c gets converted into c single bond c everything else stays the same uh, and bromines get attached to both carbon atoms that were part of the double bond uh, so this is uh, here i'm showing an example of x changing into into y and after that you have uh, NOH. he's eating it with NOH uh, aqueous and heat now this over here is nucleophilic substitution where the bromines would get substituted by OH groups. Uh, so uh, let's uh, do that in our example. If you heat it with NOH, aqueous and heat, uh, the bromines are, would be substituted, both bromines would be substituted by OH groups. So instead of bromine, you'll have OH over here and OH over here. So this over here uh, represents the first part. This is what's happening in the first part in this conversion X to Y and then y to z but i don't know what the structure of uh, c4h8 is what i can do is i can come up with two structures of c4h8 i know it's an alkene uh, so there are only two uh, isomers that that are possible for this particular particular alkene and those two isomers are that either the four carbon atoms are arranged uh, in a straight chain and there's going to be a double bond so there would be hydrogens uh, the rest of the bonds are going to be hydrogens so that's one of the isomers the other isomer could be that the double bond might be on the on the middle carbon atoms between these two carbon atoms so that would be my other isomer so i can have the double bond on the carbon at the ends so there would be three hydrogens over here uh, one hydrogen with this uh, one hydrogen with this and there would be three hydrogens over here or the th there could be a third isomer as well, which could be that uh, instead of the four carbon atoms arranged in a straight chain, you could have a branched hydrocarbon. So you can have uh, three carbon atoms in a row and one carbon atom as a branch, and there would be double bonds, uh, two hydrogens with this. There would be three hydrogens with this and three hydrogens with this carbon atom. So C4H8, there are basically three options that you can have uh, for C4H8. Now, I'm not sure C4H8, which of the three C4H8 uh, this is, which particular isomer it is. But if you look at the next reaction, we have X getting converted into methylpropane. Now, methylpropane over here has a branch structure. It's propane with a methyl branch. And the only way, uh, this is a hydrogenation reaction where H2 and nickel catalysts are being added. So the only way hydrogenation uh, would result in a branch structure is that you started off with a branch structure which means that your original molecule was actually this molecule over here it was a branched alkene uh, where hydrogens got added one hydrogen would be added to this carbon atom one hydrogen would be added to this carbon atom and you'll get methylpropane so this c4h8 this x would be this molecule over here it's going to be a branch structure so this indicates that it must be a branch structure now we can figure out the formula. I'm going to uh, get rid of these uh, compounds. Uh, these alkenes, these isomers are not the correct isomers. C4H8 is this one over here by looking at methylpropane. 
So now I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, the first part is bromination. So bromine will get added to, these, uh, to this molecule. The double bond would be removed. So you'll get rid of the double bond and two bromines will be added to both carbon atoms. Uh, that's the first step. And the next step is uh, then you heat it with NaOH. Uh, the bromines get substituted by OH ions. So get rid of the bromine, put OH ions in its uh, place. Hydroxyl groups will get uh, substituted. So this would be your final product. This would be your compound Z. So the X has now changed into, into compound Z. So this is your final product. And uh, uh, let's figure out now. Uh, let me write this molecule first in its, uh, in its uh, compressed notation. You have a CH3. And after that, CH3, you have C with an OH and a CH3. So it's a C bonded to an hydroxy group and a methyl branch is also present. And followed by, there is CH2 and then there's another OH. So it's CH2, OH. Now I need to figure out, uh, out of these four options, which one, uh, which one is going to be the correct uh, option. So it's going to be, it's going to be option D. Option D looks like the correct option because uh, let's draw option D first. Remember, we need, to, uh, we need to have this molecule. So if you look at option D, uh, I have a carbon which is bonded to two CH3 groups. Over here, I have a carbon that is bonded to two methyl groups. So there's a methyl, there's a methyl, so there are two CH3 groups. It's also bonded, the same carbon is bonded to OH as well. So the same carbon is also bonded to OH. Then you have a carbon bonded to two hydrogens and that carbon is then bonded to OH. So this molecule and this compound Z are exactly the same molecule. So your answer is going to be option D.